What's up? I'm Harley, your dad's favorite YouTuber, and this is The Adult's Guide to Enjoying PewDiePie. If you're watching this video right now, that means there's a 55% chance that you're a male between the ages of 25 and 44 years old, because that's my demographic. Considering PewDiePie has 42 million subs, then obviously a number of them are adults, but based on his comment section, I'm going to assume PewDiePie mostly has a younger audience, like younger than 18 years old. And now for those older dudes out there that aren't subscribed to PewDiePie, well, this is where this guide comes in, okay? Keep an open mind here, all right? What I want you to do is I want you to keep an open mind. There's a high chance you know exactly who PewDiePie is, but maybe you decided you're not a fan without really taking him in. Or maybe you never really gave him a chance because you're annoyed by the fact that he makes 100 times more money than you and I put together, and he does that by mostly playing video games. Or maybe you're just mad because he's the number one on YouTube, and he's more recognizable than Will Smith and Tom Cruise put together amongst teenagers today. It's crazy, right? Now in this guide, I'm not going to break down Let's Plays and, and what they're all about because that deserves a whole other adult's guide to Let's Plays. So I'm not going to get into that. Even though that is what his bread and butter is, I don't believe that's part of the adult's guide to enjoying PewDiePie. Um, I do want to say one quick disclaimer about Let's Plays. Let's Plays are when someone plays a video game and the audience watches someone play a video game. Now, I'm 30 years old, and a lot of my friends are like, oh, that's so fucking stupid. Back in my day, we played our games. We used to fight over the controller. We didn't watch someone play games. Well, other than the fact that things are different now, I want to make the comparison to the fact that a lot of people enjoy watching football, but a lot of people don't actually play football. It's the same shit here. Another point I'd like to make uh, for you to keep an open mind is don't hate him because he makes a lot of money. He, he's not just lucky, okay? He films and edits all of his videos and he has thousands of them. I repeat, he has thousands of videos. So this motherfucker's working, okay? Don't think this shit comes easy. It's not just playing a game and it's magic like that. That fucker's working. Now, let me explain something. I'm an adult. I'm 30 years old. I have a good sense of humor. I, I think I'm pretty hilarious. I know what's funny, okay? This man is funny. Whether you like it or not, this is a funny man, okay? And now I'm going to guide you into seeing how he's funny. He's also fuckable. I'm an adult, and I know it's fuckable, and he's fuckable. Let's discount the number one thing that he does and, and dive right into everything else that he does. Because it's not just Let's Plays that he does. Although that's, that's the foundation of it and that's what he was built on, there is other shit. I want to show you the other shit. The things that are easier for adults to grasp. So if you're on my channel, that means you probably like me. So I have the perfect entry level video. If you've never given PewDiePie a chance before, you can watch the video that I filmed with him slash didn't film with him. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. And you'll see that he's not always shrieking and playing up a character to the maximum. Although he's completely, he's completely goofy, you're gonna see that his comedic timing is on point and he does the editing himself and a lot of the humor comes into the editing so you gotta factor that into the whole package. Bacon. In this video, he basically cucks me by forcing me into a collabo with him without even telling me, which is just funny on its own. Harley Morenstein. Thank you. I'm going to put the link to that video in the description. Check that out. That full video is funny. There's, there's lots of laughs in there. Go ahead, watch that video. You're already off to a great start. So let's say you just watched that video, okay? And let's say you're like, yo, Harley, <laughs> I hate this guy. I mean, I'm 40 years old. And I can't fucking stand this guy. I hate him. In fact, Harley, I love hating this guy. I want to keep hating him. Well, he's got you covered. In some of his videos, he literally tortures himself for the entertainment of his audience. Seriously, in some of his videos, his life sucks. Like in some of his videos, he, he does things like this. He drinks a milk soda. Oh, that's the weirdest fucking thing. It's like drinking straight out of a cow's ass. I would never drink a milk soda. And I'm the guy that eats fucking bacon wrapped pig dicks. And I would never drink milk soda. He drinks milk soda. He also eats bugs. <laughs> uh, 
Let's get in these videos, which I think are sponsored videos, he messes with weird shit online. None of them have gaming. There's very little shrieking like a banshee in it. You could check out that whole playlist. That whole playlist is worth checking out. And look at this right here. <laughs> what kind of a top YouTuber would he be if he didn't know how to cut up lines, am I right? All these people that I've seen cut up lines. That's a joke, by the way. Don't do drugs. His girlfriend, Martza. Did I say that? I think I said that right. Anyways, everything he does with her is, is natural. It's off the cusp. You know, they're a cute couple. They're just playing around. And if you think about it, you know, he's filming every day. He's filming for long, extended periods of time. Everything he's doing is off the cusp. Every single thing technically is improv. He's a funny guy, and when you watch him interact with his girlfriend, they're a cute couple, it's interesting. I think that's enjoyable for all ages. You don't need to be a shrieking 10-year-old to enjoy these moments he has with his girlfriend. Like, in particular, I like when she scares the shit out of him, because I like to see him suffer a little bit too. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Lupius, it's scary. And this right here, this clip actually inspired me to make this video a couple months ago and I never did it until he cucked me by forcing me into a collab with him. This clip, I saw that and I was like, oh shit, he's funny. This is a funny moment. Yeah? No? Now there's plenty of golden moments like that. I'm not gonna do all the research for you. I'm gonna show you guys the path. You guys gotta walk it. Okay, he could be loud. What? Which is fine, because I personally don't find him particularly too loud, but I know other people have varying degrees of their tolerance for shrieking banshees, but I guess as a shrieking banshee myself, I have a high tolerance. This is an important one, okay? Because even if you enjoy someone, a lot of adults can get thrown off by this, okay? This isn't. Oh. <sighs> I don't even know if that was from breakfast or lunch. That was disgusting. Got like goosebumps and hard nipples. Now, he's not a dick about it. All this shit going on, 42 million subscribers. You know they say in magazines that he made $4 million a year, shit like that, okay, whatever. He's not a dick about it. That's really, really important. I mean, personally, when I crossed like 500,000 views, I was a dick about it like that. Like that. What he's doing is he's, he's uploading almost every single day and he's giving kids a friend, all right? Like, especially kids that can relate to being weird and goofy and maybe it's not a hit at school or something like that because no one's quite as weird and goofy as them. But when they get home, they're like, oh shit, Pewds gets me, Pewds gets me. I, I understand that. Venice Beach with all the weirdos. I guess I'm one of them. I understand that, because if I was in the seventh, eighth, or ninth grade, like, I'd be watching this guy, I'd be like, yo, this guy's stupid like me. I get it, he gets me. I'm gonna click that sub button and buy a t-shirt. Another thing I noticed, and, and this is interesting, because he's like the most well-known gamer, and I think the audience that gives him the most hate are gamers. Which is understandable because gamers are like hatery type of people anyways. A lot of my closest friends are gamers and you know what I mean? Even just gamers bashing other gamers based on what box they play the game on. Even the fact that I said box instead of console is something that would, you know, inspire someone to write a mean comment. Like gamers are intense people. And for some reason he gets a lot of hate from like, you know, the, the older gaming community you know people my age like 30 years old i don't know lots of 30 year olds that watch pewdiepie other than myself and i think i only got into it because i was like well it's my job i gotta know what this motherfucker's all about another thing people will say is like oh he's greedy because he's got a new show on youtube red or some shit like that it's not logical what people say sometimes but that's some of the shit people say don't hate him for being greedy because he's not greedy he uses his power for good. He's activated his audiences for charities, you know? Shit like this. Another thing is, he didn't just get lucky, all right? He didn't get lucky. From, from what I read, 
He was in university, he doubled down on his YouTube channel, and he held a job at a hot dog stand while he edited his videos and filmed them, which he still does. He still edits his videos. He's got thousands of videos. Thousands of videos. Like, that equals more than a full-time job. Like, this motherfucker's working. So, it didn't come easy. So, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm going to show you this path. You guys will have to walk it, alright? The links that I mentioned, I'm going to put in the description. He's a natural. Whether you like it or not, he is. Every single thing he's doing is improv. And he's catering to an audience. So, you, you can't... You can't judge him based on what he's doing for his, his bread and butter. But if you really dive deep, which I've done for you, you'll see that there are plenty of moments there where you're like, oh, this guy's funny. He uses power for good, and ultimately he's inspiring. Lastly, and I think this is always very important, he's fuckable. Now I'm gonna end this video right here with a clip of him sneezing while trying to keep his eyes open. He's got so many hours of content up here. This type of shit is the golden type of shit that when you dive in there and you pull out, you're like, that's a hilarious moment. Because when I watch this, I laugh every single time. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching this. I plan on doing some more adults guides, like uh, I think, you know, Twitch would be a great one, Snapchat, just all that weird shit out there that kind of fucks with people who are like 35 years old. And if you're watching this, there's a 55% chance that you are 25 to 44 years old. I got you. Hit that subscribe button, tell your dad to subscribe, and leave a comment. I read every single one of them. Yeah!